This short video will help you get started with OneDrive for Business. OneDrive is part of Office 365 and provides a cloud storage area for all students and staff of Imperial College. You get five terabytes of storage per person and it's a personal space to store your own files. You can access them across PCs and mobile devices. The way to sign in to OneDrive is with username at ic.ac.uk and you can either get to it from the Office 365 portal or from your webmail. I'm going to show you both. When you're in the Office 365 portal, you'll be presented with a range of different apps and the one you want to select is the OneDrive app with the two little blue clouds. If you're in your webmail, you can go to the top left hand corner and click on the waffle and then go and select OneDrive. This is the web view of OneDrive that you can do from any computer on any web browser. Essentially, it's got all my files and folders there and I can access them wherever I am in the world. At the top left hand corner, there's a fantastic search facility. So I'm going to just type White City and I'm founding that one PowerPoint. But if I want to see more results, I just click see more and then you'll probably have a lot more files in here than I will. There are some great tools that allow you to see when that file was created and what file type it is. So it's really, really powerful and much easier than finding files on a network share. The structure of OneDrive is fairly simple. You can organize your files by creating folders from the new menu. And from there, you can also create brand new Office documents, which will be stored in your OneDrive. If you want to upload an existing document, you just click upload browse to wherever it might be on your computer or on the network and click that file to start the upload. So I'm just uploading a Word document from my computer into my OneDrive and you can see it there. You can see that it's private, so only accessible by me. On the left hand side, you've got files. You've also got recent that will show you any recent files you've used across any of the devices. You've got a shared tab, both for files that are shared with you or shared by you. And at the bottom, you've got Recycle Bin. So if you accidentally delete something, you can recover it yourself straight from the Recycle Bin. The other thing I'm going to show you is the Sync button. Now, this allows you to synchronize your files with your local computer. This is really recommended if you've got a laptop um, and is not recommended on the shared use computers like the PC labs in college. If you press Sync, it will take you through this setup process. So I'm just going to sign in and put my password in there again like that. And once you sign in, it's going to look at your OneDrive, which is in the cloud, and it's going to synchronize a copy of it to whichever computer you're on at that time. So if you use two computers, say one at home and one in the office, you would need to do this sync process twice, one on each computer. Once the sync process is completed, you'll see that from your file explorer view, in the normal way you're used to accessing files on the network, you can now see OneDrive Imperial College London. And you can see those four folders that I showed you are exactly the same in the web view as they are in that folders view after me synchronizing. What this is great for is offline working. So even though your files are stored in the cloud, you may still have some times when you want to access them offline. If you right click on your OneDrive, either on the whole thing or a specific file, there's an option for always keep on this device. If you do that, you'll see those little blue clouds are turning to green ticks and that is now downloading all of that OneDrive content from the cloud onto my local laptop. Now, if I'm going on a flight or a long journey, I'll be able to access all of those files offline. Next, I'm going to show you OneDrive from a mobile device. I've got an iPad, but this could equally be a phone or a, or a tablet from any other manufacturer. And you'll see when I open the OneDrive app, I've got the exact same set of folders and files that I had access to on my PC. I've just opened up a folder of, of photos there, and I could open up that PowerPoint presentation at the bottom that I searched for earlier. So I might start my PowerPoint um, on the network when I'm in college, and then I might want to finish it at home on the sofa on my iPad. So I click the PowerPoint, I open it up, and then I've opened the PowerPoint app that then allows me to make changes and edits to that slide. Any changes that I make will then be saved back up to the cloud, but unlike your PC, you don't sync to an iPad or a phone, so it's not going to use up space on that device. Also at the bottom, we've got recent, 
we've got shared and we've got sites. But this is slightly different. This allows you to get to your shared areas, which may be SharePoint sites or Teams. The last thing I'll show you is at the bottom, there's a small button to take photos, and that allows you to scan files directly into your OneDrive. So I've taken a photo of this little magazine on my desk. I've clicked save. I'm choosing the folder that I want to upload it in, and then I'm going to press save. You can see at the bottom, it gives me a message that it's uploading. And then when I go back to my files view, I'll see I put it in the projects folder, and there's that scan that I took with the camera on my iPad. If you've not used OneDrive before, why not sign in today and have a go? Upload your first document to OneDrive or try installing the apps on your mobile devices. If you need help or want to move all of your HDrive files into OneDrive, please look at the Office 365 support pages or contact your Office 365 champion. Thanks for listening.